morning, everyone. Welcome to the Evangelist Nick Garrett channel. It is October the 6th, 2019. William Tyndale was a scholar, an accidental theologian, a major figure in the Protestant Reformation in the years leading up to his execution. He's well known for several incomplete versions of the Bible translated into English for the first time. Tyndale was influenced by the work of Desiderius Erasmus, Martin Luther, a number of translations had made their way around Europe from the 7th century onward, but Tyndale's 14th century translation of the Bible into English led to the death penalty for anyone found with an unsanctioned version of the scripture, even though the Bible had already been translated into all the other European languages. Now, Tyndale's translation was the first English Bible to draw directly from the Hebrew and Greek texts of Scripture. It was the first to take advantage of the printing press, which was being used largely for commercial purposes for the first time. And it was the first of the New English Bibles of the Reformation. It was taken to be a direct challenge to the hegemony of the Catholic Church and the monarchy in England. In fact, in 1530, Tyndale wrote the practice of prelates opposing Henry VIII's annulment of his own marriage on the grounds that it contravened scripture. You see, Tyndale worked in an age when Greek was being reintroduced to the European intellectuals for the first time in centuries. Erasmus had compiled and edited Greek scriptures following the fall of Constantinople in 1453. Constantinople's fall helped to fuel a renaissance and led to the dispersion of Greek-speaking intellectuals all over the Latin West and Europe. A copy of Tyndale's The Obedience of Christian Men fell into the hands of Henry VIII, providing the king with the rationale to break the Church of England from the Catholic Church in 1534. Now, in 1535, though, Tyndale was arrested and jailed at the Castle Vilvoord in Brussels. For over a year, he stayed there and wrote. In 1536 he was convicted of heresy and he was executed, first by strangulation and then by the burning of his body at the stake. However, Fox's Book of Martyrs records his last prayer, Lord, open the King of England's eyes. And it was just about a year later that the King himself sanctioned a version of the Bible in English based on Tyndale's work, the Matthews Bible. In 1611, the 47 scholars that compiled the King James Version of the Bible for the first time, relied so heavily on Tyndale's work that scholars say it's somewhere in the 70s and up to 89 and 90% of Tyndale's work make the King James Bible. In 2002, William Tyndale was listed at number 26 in a poll of BBC's most influential Britons of all time. Today, October 6th, we remember William Tyndale and the influence that he had on the spread of Christianity throughout the world. Folks, God bless you, and may your work today bear fruit. Uh, if you want to learn more about the Protestant Reformation, check out the playlist here that has as few or as many parts as you might want.